Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Very soon Skylum Software will be releasing three more extensions for Luminar Neo. Those extensions are Upscale AI, AI Background Removal, and Super Sharp AI. I was fortunate enough to get some pre-release versions of these extensions. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how each of these extensions work in Luminar Neo. We're going to start with Upscale AI and we'll take a look at this image. You can see it is heavily cropped. It is now 1,955 pixels by 2,929 pixels. If I wanted to print this, I would not be able to get a very large print from it because it is of such low resolution. And once you install the extension, and by the way, to install your extensions, open up Luminar Neo and click on this little puzzle piece here and you'll see all the extensions will come alive here and you'll be able to install them from this screen. Now I have Upscale AI already installed and you can see it's right here on the right hand side. And all you need to do is take the image you want to upscale and just drag it into that box. And when you do, you have the option to upscale it two times, four times, or six times. You also can see there's a little eye here. You could click this and it will give you some information about the actual uh, extension. The maximum input size is 257 by 257, the minimum input size, I should say. So if it's any smaller than that, you won't be able to use this uh, extension. The maximum input size is 6,000 pixels on the longest side, and the maximum output size is 32,000 pixels on the largest size. So with that, let's upscale this four times. So we're going to just click upscale and let it do its thing. And then when it's done, this should have four times the resolution when all is said and done. And it is done. And you can see now, let me just double click on it so you can see a close up, let it render. It's taking a little longer to render because it's a lot larger now, higher resolution. It's 7,820 pixels by 11,716 pixels. It's 7.8 megabytes in size. So this is now much bigger and I could get a very large print from it. And that's really all upscale AI is. Very easy to use. You could just drag an image right in there and upscale it two times, four times, or six times. All right. Oh, by the way, when you do upscale an image, it will take and put you in a new folder that it called upscale. So you could see that it brought that image over into upscale. And if I go over to my original um, album that I had for this demonstration, the original image is still here. 1955 by 2929. So it doesn't delete or do anything to your original image. It will just create a new image that is upscaled from that. All right, let's talk about the AI background removal tool and we'll use this stock photo I have. I chose this one because her hair is kind of fly away and I think it's a bit more of a challenge to remove the background on an image such as this. Now to use that tool, you will go to the edit panel and then you would go to layer properties. You can see it says pro right there. We'll click on that. Then we'll click on masking. And then you can see it's right here, background removal AI. So we'll just click on that and it's automatically doing its calculating. You can see those kind of typical, like, I don't know, geometric lines that Luminar Neo does when it's calculating something. So it did the calculation and I guess it looks okay. You could see that it has various colors. Let's just click remove. And you could see that if it had other uh, objects in the scene, you could pick the specific object you want removed. In this case, we're just taking out the main subject and we'll click remove. And when it does, we'll see how it does. And if it doesn't, it, it okay. But you could see it messed up in her nose area right here. Uh, it didn't do such a good job, but it did a great job around her hair. But we can refine this. To refine this, there's a refinements brush. We'll just go there. Then you have three options. You're either going to brush on a transition area. That would be right where her body transitions to the background. Uh, the object itself, which of course is her, or the background. Now, we're missing parts of her. So we're going to click object. We could move the brush size with this slider. You also could use the bracket keys. Left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. We got to get in here and get her nose area in here. 
in here. Just make sure we're getting all this in here. This area in her hand looked a little funky too. So we'll get all that. And then when you're uh, satisfied that you did it, just click on this little back arrow and there. And it did a really nice job. Now you could see it was very easy to refine and very easy to clip out that background. So now I could go over to layers and I could drop her in another scene if I need to. But right now, um, we're going to move on to the next extension. And by the way, I will do individual videos on each of these extensions, which will be more extensive. And I'll show you a lot more tricks and keyboard shortcuts and things you could do to best utilize these extensions. I'm going to go back to the catalog and I have this image of the, um, I think it's a macaw parrot. I think it's a macaw technically. And you can see I misfocus totally. It's really, really blurry. So I need to fix the focus on this. Now I didn't take multiple image. It has nothing to do with focus stacking. I did a video on that extension a few weeks ago. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the edit panel and you can see that super sharp AI is right here. We'll go here and we'll go to this drop down. And I mentioned that I missed focus. So we'll click on defocus. You also have an option for motion blur or just a universal. It's going to just look at a generally blurry image and try to fix it up for you. In this case, we're going with defocus and it is badly defocused. So I'm going to click on high. And again, we'll get that geometric pattern of lines. And my experience, um, working with super sharp AI, sometimes it takes quite a while. In this case, it didn't, uh, it went relatively quickly, but this one may be a little slow. And I want to stress too, that I am working with a pre-release version of the, uh, extension. So when it is officially released, I'm sure it will be refined and work much faster. So there it is super sharp. Let's see before, after there's before and there's after there's before there's after did a pretty good job. Now, if you think, well, that's too sharp, well, you could go and click on middle and it just will rethink the whole situation and it will bring us back. And there is that there's before and there's after I think high was all right. So we'll go back to high there's before and there's after. So there is a quick peek at the three new extensions that uh, will be coming out for Luminar Neo very soon. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>